When it comes to a Bond film, there's a few things you can always be certain of. There'll be beautiful women, guns, cars, and him saying his name in an overly convoluted way. The name is Bond. James Bond. In amongst all that, there will usually be a trip to the casino. Today, we are running down the top five times that the writers made the casino count and gave us a classic slice of Bond at the table. I'll take the full odds on the 10, 200 on the hard way. The limit on all the numbers, 250 on the 11. Thank you very much. The very first scene in Doctor No brought us face to face with Sean Connery's James Bond arguably the most iconic film version of the Bond character. Yeah. Fittingly, it also takes place in a casino and forever tied the two together in the minds of filmgoers everywhere. Within only five minutes, Bond has won a high-stakes game of Baccarat Chemin de Fur, received his secret mission, delivered a catchphrase, Bond. James Bond. and pulled a woman. Too bad you have to go. Just as things were getting interesting. This introduces us to everything Bond, and all takes place at the casino table without Bond even stepping away from the game. Hmm, golf, amongst other things. Although Bond is supposed to be the ultimate agent, lethal both physically and mentally, we are more accustomed to seeing his physical approach rather than the intellectual. In this famous scene from Octopussy, Bond spots the villain Kamal beating the Major at backgammon by consistently rolling suspiciously lucky double sixes. Damn, always a double six when you need it. It's all in the wrist. Bond oh, takes the Major's place, hikes up the bet to 500,000 rupees, and then taunts Kamal by wagering the Fabergé egg he wants as part of the bet. I think that this should be ample security. At the very last minute, Bond uses his game right to use the opponent's dice. But then I shall use player's privilege and use your lucky dice. Not even glancing down at the table, he rolls the winning sixes. It's a great scene where Bond figures out the scam and then uses it as an opportunity to intimidate his enemy. 200,000 rupees. I prefer cash. The Daniel Craig James Bond reboot, Casino Royale, had to be in this list since the whole movie is basically one extended casino scene. We follow Bond trying to win a high-stakes game of Texas Hold'em, which culminates in an unbelievable $115 million pot. Cole. If he wins, he saves the day. But if he loses, the villain Nashifra takes all the money to invest into the criminal underworld. No pressure. The heart of the film features one incredibly tense hand of poker after the other. Oh, Full house. Kings and aces. Bond does get distracted away from the table a few times. Wants to have a fight on the stairs. And later he dies for a full minute. <laughs> Never shaken, although sometimes stirred, he's soon back at the table for I'm more sorry. thrilling poker action. That last hand. Nearly killed me. GoldenEye marked the first outing for Pierce Brosnan as Bond, and, as with all other first outings, people were worried it might not be the same. With Bond having pulled a Doctor Who four times before, audiences feared they could end up with another Lazenby on their hands. Morning. My name's Bond. James Bond. GoldenEye proved everyone wrong by bringing everything Bond back to the series. Do please try and return some of this equipment in pristine order. Don't touch that! It's my lunch. Amongst the tropes was a casino scene, which almost bordered on parody, and is on our list of being one of the most Bond-esque casino scenes in the series. We see Bond playing Xenia Onatop at Baccarat. It's an over-the-top, innuendo-filled game, with the surname Onatop pretty much setting the tone. It's several minutes of camp double entendre, and it had us in stitches the whole way through. One rises to meet a challenge. I'm We're going back to Casino Royale again, we, uh, but this time it's to the version made in 1967. Back. Peter Sellers, Woody Allen, and Orson <laughs> Welles may seem like a very odd Bond lineup, but built as a comedy, it was one of the strangest Bond films ever made. It's the first John I've ever gone round with. It closely follows the Casino Royale plot. But with Peter Sellers as Bond and Orson Welles as Le Chiffre, camping it up all the way. All of the tense poker scenes are replaced with Le Chiffre performing ridiculous magic tricks. 
from the pocket of one perfectly ordinary gentleman. That's the, the kind of remark that leads to war. How much better for all humanity if all the nations could learn to live together. In the money laundering plot is mostly swapped out for one in which Bond names every agent in the building Bond in a stupid attempt to trick his enemy. From now on, all remaining agents and trainees will be known as James Bond 007, including the girls. Well, that'd be rather confusing, sir. Exactly. Also, instead of action scenes, there's Woody Allen being, well, Woody Allen. I have a very low threshold of death. My doctor says I can't have bullets enter my body at any time. Thank you for watching this week's Top 5. You can join us every Friday for a new guide, latest slot news, or more videos just like this. Head into the description for links to play any of the casino games mentioned, and we'll see you same time next week.